If you care about your website getting found on search engines like Google or Bing or anything else out there, you're seriously going to be thinking about your search engine optimization SEO. Now, I'm a big fan of doing as much as I can to help yourself on Google, your indexing, making sure your keywords are all in place and basically boosting your potential for people to find you. And there are many tools you can use on WordPress, all in one, SEO Press, Squirrelly, I could go on and on and on and on. But I'm a big fan and user of Rank Math. This is not a sponsored or an affiliate video at all. This is an honest review. Now, the basis of what we're going to do today is compare Rank Math to the brand new Yoast. Let's have a look at Rank Math first. We're going to install Rank Math SEO. The first thing you'll see once you've hit activate is connect your account. You've got loads of options here. Go for the one that suits you. Basic stuff. So here's where you can set your social sharing icon for your website. Don't forget though, when you do your page and post, you can have a separate featured image for that. But you would go through this process, pick your image, do your text. You know, again, it is really self-explanatory. There's nothing on here that makes me get a bit worried. This is the one that's quite important. Go and connect your Google services and then decide on your site map. You know, are you going to include images or not? Let's just hit save and continue. So it's walking you through really swiftly. And again, I'm just going to hit save and continue there as well. And it then says your website is ready. Of course, that is the really simple wizard. But if you really want to get your teeth into um, Rank Map, you've got to go through the advanced settings, start deciding on um, any of the other features. Are you going to allow it to monitor 404s or, you know, are you going to allow it to automatically do redirect? So basically, if like someone finds a URL or clicks on a link and it takes them to a 404 page is not found issue, it will then keep a log of those so you can go back and revisit them. And once you've done that, you then get to the very standard. I mean, this is what everyone's going to be used to looking at when you use a rank map. You can go in and refine it further. Like some of my favorite ones are the image SEO where you can set the alt image. So if you don't have an alt image description, um, which you should have, you know, you should get your keywords in there to help yourself. This will go in and put the file name in, which is only good if your file names are reasonable as well, but it's still a good feature. You can go and switch on instant indexing, local SEO. There's lots of things you can do here. If we go to my dashboard, at the moment, I've got no values, completely brand new site. I haven't even really connected it to Google Analytics or Google Search Console yet, okay? Um, which again, you could go through the steps to do that. So I'm obviously going to get zero. But what I like is when it is connected, you would be seeing values here. But the key bit is, is how, what about when you are now doing the keywords on your website? Now, if you were using Elementor, it is kind of integrated, but I've not installed any of the plugins or any of the page builder themes. So I'm just going to go into posts and I'm going to go over to the very standard hello world post. Okay. I mean, Talk about really basic. By the way, you might have noticed if we just go back a step over here, it says instant indexing. There's two ways to do the instant indexing. You can either click it over here and then what you do is you just pop in your URLs. You might have created five new posts. You pop in all the URLs or a brand new page like contact. You pop it in, you hit submit and it basically sends it over. Or if you are actually over on the page or sorry, on the post or the page, just go over here, click instant indexing and it does it like that. It just goes and does it like that. Right, let's just go over into edit just to show you how this would work. Trying really hard not to cringe. If we just go over here, you can see we have seven out of 800. If we click that, this is what a lot of you are gonna be used to seeing, whether you're working with this in Elementor or anywhere else where Rank Map is integrated. It's basically telling me like, what is your, what is your keyword? Um, giving me the meta description and title there. So if I was to go in and type in, I've just gone and typed in four items again. I've put hello world as my main keyword. I'm just gonna copy that for a moment. I'm then gonna go over to edit summit. By the way, this is not a rank math tutorial, but I just wanna show you how easy it is. I'm gonna go and pop my title in like that. I've just put hello world, 50 amazing posts, and I've gone and put in a description as well. If I just close that down, the scores jumped up to 53, because I'm now starting to meet some of the criteria. I haven't got an image in here. I haven't ad added in an alt image title with the word hello world in as well. But what you have is you can see things are starting to change. You can see now I've tried to use some of the words that are in the post as well as my other key words and you can see here now that how are we starting to score so we're using the keyword in the SEO title um, it doesn't appear at the beginning of the content so you know somewhere here maybe I might want to get it in like um, 
Hey, hello. You know, you got to try and make it feel native, by the way, okay? Don't just shove words in for the sake of it. Make it feel native. So look, it's now found in the content. Content isn't very long. Yeah, get over it. But look, we can see here where we're failing. I haven't got a H1 or a H2 yet. I need to think about that. So this is kind of steering me towards what can I do to make my content richer? Now, everyone's going to go, oh, I want it 100 out of 100. It doesn't really matter massively as long as you've done enough. Okay, so I might stop here and go, yeah, okay, fine. That's all I'm going to do because I've satisfied, I think, enough to help this out. But if you really want to go a step further, then start thinking about your H1, your H2. Have you got any internal, external links? Um, uh, I, you know, uh, you know, like media, video, images, anything like that. But that is in its um, basic um, uh, you know, a nutshell, however I describe it, way of using Rank Map. And this is what you would do with your pages, your WooCommerce products as well. So when you do your products at the bottom, you'll have all of this facility again to do your keywords. Now, you're not going to really hit 100 out of 100 because there's when you do products, there's a little bit of a different kettle of fish because you don't have as much control over what you're doing here. But with posts and pages, you can get them high. So from a simplicity point of view, Rank Math is really, really good. But what about the new version of Yoast? This is the new one. So what happens when we hit activate? We've already seen with Rank Map, it takes you straight into the wizard. When you do that with Yoast, we indeed have a wizard. And I've got to say, the little images of people, that's a bit of a nice touch. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a tick for that. From the get-go, we are told about the Yoast SEO Premium. Um, I I do find that a little bit of forceful advertising. Like, I've just installed it. I haven't even gone through it yet. And you're already saying, hey, go and get the Premium version. I would always say you leave that till later. So if there were any extra features, like if we go back over to the Rank Math one here, if I want to now start using content AI, this is where it's going to basically tell me you've got to use the Rank Math Pro version. So I would have said, don't force it on people. Right, let's now go through the settings. Similar kind of steps, you know, worded differently. So you go and pick your featured image in a way for your website. You know, what is the website about? And in your social profiles, by the way, you could do that with Rank Math as well. So, so far, it, they are laid out slightly differently, but it's the same kind of intro wizard we're going through. And then you get asked if you want to subscribe to their weekly webinar. I'm going to skip that for now. So you don't have to hit the register now, but we're just going to jump straight into the SEO dashboard. But let me just point out again, the SEO premium, multiple key phrases. Let's, I wonder what that, I mean, you know, does that mean we can only have one or two? Uh, super fast uh, internal linking, 24 seven email support, no more dead links, social media preview, no ads. Let's just go to the SEO dashboard. And this is all we get. <laughs> no problems, no notifications, obviously, because it's not fully connected up. Now, the thing that is missing, and you might have noticed is that we haven't kind of covered off the site map. We haven't covered off um, uh, the connection to Google Search Console or anything like that as well. So no, most likely that step is going to come. So let's go over to the settings again. And there's a little bit of a, uh, a tour of this. Now, I personally feel like the system has got to be intuitive because rank map, you kind of, you can just go, you can load it and just go, what, look at the instructions it gives you or the questions, answer them and move on. So can I get through this without having to go through lots of videos to understand it? What we have is a dashboard field. Now, if you compare this to what we had with rank map, theirs is in comparison, quite plain. I, you know, I'm very used to this. I like it. But if you compare it to this, this does feel a lot better. However, it is the power of the images. And I may now be a little bit critical by saying all of the images feel very, very different. Like they're all been done by different artists. Whereas here, there's a little bit of uniformity in what we're seeing here. So it's not a bad thing, but I would have said maybe apply one kind of style. Anyway, look. Uh, SEO analysis, uh, so we got features enabled, insight, site structure, text link counter. So let's go through these. Let's go to site basics so you can set an image. So if you don't have a featured image on a page, what is your fallback image? Not a bad idea. Again, you get that with rank map as well. Once you set your initial image when in the wizard, it will show that then for any page where you haven't got a featured image. Um, 
you know, this is all quite basic at the moment here, site representation. Again, you know, we did this during the wizard process, so you can go back and change it, site connections. Right, so this is where you would now connect to your Google Search Console. So you would basically click that. So this is where it's done a little bit differently. You verify your ownership, it will give you a code and you paste that in here. With Rank Math, you would again have to do that. So if you go over here to General Settings, and then you go over to Webmaster Tools, and this is where you would kind of have to do the same thing. So you'd click it, and it kind of goes, I mean, there's kind of walks you through it a little bit more and explains what you, where you need to click, which I have to say I do like, because it's literally telling you exactly what you need to do. Um, but both processes are pretty seamless once you go through the steps. We then get to a setting for the home page, which is an interesting one because now you get to sort out like your title and description and you know your image. Now, I find this a little bit dangerous because if I have a home page, I want to be doing my SEO while I'm actually looking at the home page. Because if I then go, oh, I've got to change my keyword or the content or whatever, I can do it like I'm not having to have two multiple screens or monitors up or whatever. I, I'm not a massive fan that here you're going to have to do the home page. And then you might go, oh, okay, was that keyword or not? And then you go back to your home page. There's a little bit of back and forth. However, it is a, it's a nice step, but I think it's a whole lot better on the page, which I'm pretty sure you can do when we get to it. So this is an interesting one now where it seems to me like you can, you can enter in a meta description. So this will be across all the posts. But if you want to do the appearance, the featured image almost, like, well, what appears on, say, Google, you have to unlock with Premium. So we are going to visit the post later on to check that we can still do that regardless. And then we have pages as well. And it's a very similar thing where you could add in like a generic uh, description or title for it. But if you want to add in an image, again, you've got to unlock the premium. By the way, what is the premium price? Should we cover that off right now? Basically, £99 for the year. Um, there's no VAT added on that, but it is £99 for one site. Same thing with the categories, you can have a generic description, but you can't do the image, and the same with the tags. You have the advanced tab, but I'm not going to go through all of those, because, uh, yeah, it, it's entirely up to you how much interest you take in a lot of these. But I do want to point out something that you will spot over here with the redirect bit here. It says premium. So if you now want to do redirects, you've basically got to go for the premium version, whereas, again, you get that in Rank Math for free. Remember the 404 monitor and the redirections? It's all in there. So again, you know, a little bit of a limitation there. Now let's go over to post and look again, we have Hello World. Hello World is here to stay. We don't have the instant indexing. Rank Math had that. We don't get that in Yoast. So let's just remind ourselves of Rank Math. You can go through, you can modify your content and you'll see the scores change. You've also got the ability, I forgot to mention, you can index or not index a page. Maybe you don't want it to appear. Now let's jump back into Yoast and here's what we get. Um, Similar-ish, obviously, because you still have everything that you have here with the normal classic WordPress editor. But what it's saying is the SEO analysis needs improvement. I love the way it says readability analysis is good. Well, yeah, you know, hello world. So here's the first big difference. Hello world. If I try to add in multiple key phrases or words, it won't allow that. You can only have one in for the focus keyword. Well, in a way, it does say focus key phrase, so maybe that's why it's only allowing one. But that's a little bit different with Rank Math. Then it says get related uh, key phrases. Now, this one is... I'm not a big fan of this because now it's saying um, log in to your SEMrush account. So you now have to go and create a SEMrush account. Um, you know, and then it integrates and it's going to give you some key phrases. Hopefully you've already done some of your homework prior to this, but I feel like I don't want to have to now log in to another system. Okay, either it gives it to me here and there and it already pulls it through or that, that is a put off. That is a real big put off. I shouldn't have to do that. I should have done my homework before, got my words, but I, I have to be honest, I don't like that because now I have not gone for it. Can I do any more key phrases? Because that's a bit of a, a limiter, right? Let's pretend I haven't got a SEMrush account. What would happen next? First thing I get to do is mess around with the SEO title. I, I really don't like this because I, I got insert variable and it goes, I, I don't like that. So I'm going to literally get rid of all of that and I'm just going to pop in my own description and go, hello world. I'm actually going to pop in the same description that I had before, except I'm going to change the word over here from rank math to Yoast. 
I'm just trying to do like a stress test in a way over what what the what kind of feedback do I get on here? And we're told about the SEO analysis, and it's basically now highlighting that um, well, it's it's a similar in a way, because now it's highlighting, look, what have you got? Have you done certain things? Have you got like your keywords in? I'm not trying to be biased in. If anyone from Yoast or a fan of Yoast is watching, I am not being biased. I'm doing this from a very objective, subjective, collective, whatever way here. But if you look here, I can see these. Yes, I've got to click down, but, but there's something about the readability of that. Whereas here, I find that the f number one, the font is smaller. Number two, it feels like there's loads more words. And I don't know about you, but I find there's something about the, the layout where I feel like the Rank Math one works better. But that's just me now being a little bit of a Mardi ass. Premium SEO analysis. Um, you know, target. Mul so look, target multiple focus key phrases. This means I cannot have a multiple key phrase unless I go for premium. That's not good. Oh, hold on. It says ad related key. No, yeah, look. There we go. Ad related. This, this is this is a put off. Track SEO performance. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, look. Connect with Wincher. Really? So we've got. I've got to integrate with SEMrush. I've got to go for premium if I want the additional key phrases. And if I want to track the performance, I've got to connect with Wincher. That's three extra things I've got to do. This is before we've even properly done the search console or the Google Analytics. Keep it simple, everybody. Okay, let's go down to Cornerstone content. Yep, obviously you would get this as well down here. Uh, so this is where you're basically saying the post is pillar. Pillar content or cornerstone is what you call evergreen, all right? So it's not a post that is only relevant for today. If I wrote a post about Christmas 2022, it's only really good for Christmas 2022. No one's going to read about it in 2025, probably. But if you write a post about how to design a website, there's a chance it's going to be evergreen and someone reading it now might still want to read it in five, 10 years time. Probably not, actually. But, you know, you get the idea. Uh, then we go for the advanced over here, um, allow search engines. Yeah, okay, this is kind of like the indexing bit of yes or no. If we go over here, okay, to where we have the Yoast symbol and I click this, all it does now is bring back kind of what we've got on the left-hand side in a way. Um, so look, it's now like, the, well, look, the SEO analysis, um, you know, it's just showing us where we were green or red and it's kind of in a way slightly repeating a little bit of what we got. You do get a bit more though. Passive voice, consecutive sentences, stuff like that. I, I don't know about you, but look, when you have it on the left or right hand side, like what you've got here, this is better because you can see your content and then you look over to the left or right and you go through the actions. When you have it below like this, and Rank Math do have it below when you get to WooCommerce products, you can't really get away with that. But when you're on a page or a post, um, having it on, the, like, look, over here, right? Look, it's on the side. Whether you're an elemental, it's on the side, okay? And I'm hoping they will integrate that fully with Bricks Builder as well and other plugins out there or page builders. But having it on the bottom still, like, I don't know, can I min... Yeah, okay, sorry. All right, let me go back a step. You can minimize it, but it is still there at the bottom. When I activate it over here, this should completely just disappear unless it really, really needs to be there. Now, one thing we are missing out on is you can't deny that seeing your score go from like zero or two out of 100. What was it? Was it zero out of 100? I think it was. Go up to 59 with some really basic stuff that I've put in. Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good when you see the numbers go up, 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 up? I mean, over here, I, I, I have not got any numbers. There's, 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 there's no numbers. Look, there's, there's nothing here. Yoast SEO, there, there's no numbers. I can go over to SEO analysis and it says it's in orange and it's, you know, yeah, we could do better. We could do better. But there is no score. And I know you should not base it on scoring. But I'm just going to hit update for a moment on both these websites just so that we can make sure they've both all gone through. But I do think that it helps to steer you because I could have two websites. Sorry, I could have 10 pages. They're all orange. But what is the range of the orange? 
But with a scoring, I can now see that this page is 50, this is 55, this is 60. I can start to see what they are. And this is what you will get with Rank Math on your posts and your pages. You'll have a long list and you'll see which ones have you touched or not touched. I go over here though to the Yoast website and all I have is a traffic light system. We have the readability score, which is green. Remember, it's just one sentence, right? You know, oh, would you even read it? I call it scannability score, right? And then you have the SEO score and it's not really a score it's, it's more of an indicator okay hey i work in statistics and analytics right i know what i'm talking about it's more of a indicator all right a rag status red amber green it's not really a score so as an overblown summary and i know i've i've kind of gone through piecemeal through bits and pieces and you're probably thinking this could have been a five minute video I'm coming to the conclusion that what Yoast have done in version 20 is is it feels more um slick in the way you get set up and it, it's got some nice steps. But when you actually get to the posts or the pages or anything like that, it doesn't feel like it's moved on a huge amount from what we had before. You know, you still got, you know, the uh, the items below. You know, yes, you got them on the side, but, you know, get, you know, I, I don't understand why you've got it below as well at the same time. Get rid of that. You can't have multiple key phrases unless you pay £99 a year. You get that in Rank Math automatically. And also you get the scoring. You know, the indicator, the rag status, that's not enough for me, okay? I don't want to go on and see that, like, um... You know, like, just because, for instance, right, every single one of your posts could be green. All of them are green. But what point do you hit green? Is it like you have to have like 90%, 85%? At what point do you hit green? Because I might have um, 10 pages. All of them are 99 out of 100. Woohoo. And when I got one of them, which is 91, but because it's green and I don't see that score, I might think, yeah, it's all right. Now, I've already said earlier, it doesn't massively matter how strong your score is as long as you've got a decent score. But if you're really like obsessive about your SEO, you're going to want to make sure that 91 is a strong 91 and not kind of teetering into the 89, 80, 70, 60 category. I am going to say well done to Yoast because they have refought and they have tried to reinvent. However, I will stress the word tried. I don't think it's all there yet. And I think given the lessons and they they were aware of the impact. Let's be honest here, OK? In January 2021, they went on a major offensive. I could see them all over the place on YouTube, podcasts galore. People, articles were springing out everywhere. Yoast is amazing and all of that. A rank map just quietly just keeps increasing um, their customer base. And I know there are other tools out there as well. So sorry if I'm just focusing on rank map and Yoast. But my conclusion is that rank map is still the tool for me. And I would have loved to have seen Yoast come out really, really strong. But it's just not strong. And it does not convert me away from rank map. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Please leave your comments. Please tell us about other um, uh, SEO tools that you use and why you like using them. So don't just say, yeah, I use um, Squirrelly or I use SEO, 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 whatever. Tell us why. How does that compare to Rank Map? What are the benefits you're getting out of it? Is there a cost attached? Is it premium? What do you get for free? And I'm going to end very quickly. I've already said who I am, but I'm going to end again very quickly in that it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to say that, well, you've got to pay for Yoast, therefore it's not good. It is always good to pay for premium features, but I get but when you compare what you get for free in rank math compared to Yoast, why would you pay £99 a year for something extra that you already get over here? It does not make logical sense to me. Hey, I'm Imran again, Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing.